Good morning. Paul here on Emu Mountain and we bring you a little meditation today from the book of Malachi where God is talking about the faithful remnant. Then those who feared the Lord talked with each other and the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honoured his name. On the day when I act, says the Lord Almighty, they will be my treasured possession. I will spare them just as a father has compassion and spares his son who serves him. And you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. Now there's an interesting scripture. The Lord is watching for those whose hearts are fully committed to them. He's, it says in 2 Chronicles 16.9 that the eyes of the Lord wander to and fro over the whole earth, seeking out those who are, whose hearts are fully committed to him so that he may strengthen them. And it's all about the fear of the Lord. Uh, you know, the word is full of references to those who fear the Lord. Psalm 34 says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. So we've got angels watching over us if we fear the Lord. In 1 Samuel 12, 24, it says, Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart, for consider what great things he has done for you. In Psalm 111, verse 10, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. And in Job 28, 28, And to man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil, that is understanding. So many scriptures about the fear of the Lord. Do not be wise in your own eyes, says Proverbs 3, 7. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Proverbs 16, by loving kindness and truth, iniquity is atoned for, and by the fear of the Lord, one keeps away from evil. Psalm 115, 13, he will bless those who fear the Lord, the small together with the great. So if you want to be blessed, fear the Lord, respect him, honour him, worship him, and obey his commands. Psalm 145, 19, He will fulfill the desires of those who fear him. He will also hear their cry and will save them. Look, if you have desire of your heart and you fear the Lord, he will fulfill the desires of your heart. Luke 1, 50 says, And his mercy is upon generation after generation towards those who fear him. So it's not just Old Testament stuff, this is New Testament as well in Luke 1.50. Then in Proverbs 1.7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. In Deuteronomy 13.4, You shall follow the Lord your God and fear him, and you shall keep his commandments, listen to his voice, serve him and cling to him. You can't listen to his voice unless you're opening up his book. You need to get into the Word and let the Word get into you. From Deuteronomy 5.29, Oh, that they had such a heart in them, they would fear me and keep all my commandments always, that it may be well with them and with their sons forever. You want to look after the next generation? Then fear the Lord. And in Deuteronomy 6, too, the last one I'm going to talk about, it says this, So that you and your son and your grandsons might fear the Lord your God to keep all of his statutes and commandments which I command you all the days of your life and that your days may be prolonged. So if you want a prolonged life, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord, respect him, honour him, know that he's watching over you, he's created you, he's got angels around you and you will live a long life. So from Emu Mountain today, we wish you all a long life. Get into his word and let his word get into you.
God bless you. Have a great day. See you later.